Hi everyone, you're here because your laptop is getting hot. Maybe you're feeling it on the keyboard while you rest your hands and you're typing. Maybe you're feeling it in your lap as you use your laptop. Whatever the case, whatever the situation, you think your laptop is getting too hot. Maybe you're worried about it doing damage to the components. Maybe you're having other issues related to overheating. Or maybe you're just here to figure out how to stop your laptop from getting so hot. We're gonna talk about all those things in this video today. So don't worry, we're gonna cover all of our bases. First thing I wanna point out is that laptop heat is actually normal. Yes, computers produce heat. All of the components inside your laptop, the CPU, the GPU, uh, the battery, and even to some extent the hard drives and other components are going to create heat. And the problem with a laptop and heat is that all of those components are squished into a small body and there's not a lot of places for that heat to go. There is a vent system, there are fans, and there's a, a system to get the heat out, but it's still a simple equation of tight space, lots of heat, hard to escape. So now, how much heat is too much heat? You are getting too much heat if your computer is showing symptoms of overheating. That would include your fan running loudly, running all of the time, especially if it's running more often than it used to. The computer shutting down uh, just randomly while you're using the computer, especially when you're using something that puts a lot of load on the system. Another thing that you could see is artifacts. That's glitches or tears or colors on your screen appearing and disappearing in random places. That's to do with your graphics card, if you have a discrete graphics card, or even an APU where the graphics is integrated onto the CPU, you can have issues with artifacts. The next thing you could have is slow performance generally. Maybe it takes a long time to open up a new web browser, load a new program, switch to different tasks. Whatever the case may be, if you're noticing a slowdown in your computer, this could be an, a symptom of overheating. Um, another symptom, obviously, we talked about is heat. If you not only feel the heat on the top of the laptop, but now you're starting to feel the heat on the bottom, or you're feeling more heat than you used to, that could be a symptom of overheating as well. So next, let's talk about how hot your CPU and components can get before there's some real danger. But first, go ahead and drop a like on the video if you're finding it helpful so far. It'll help me out with the algorithm. So how do we check our CPU temp and how hot is too hot? Generally speaking, you wanna keep your CPU temp below 90 degrees under full load. Plus or minus, some uh, manufacturers and some models may recommend that it be a little lower. Some may even be a little higher, but generally 90 degrees is where I would be uncomfortable if the CPU is getting up to that point. So how do we check and see how hot our CPU is? If you don't care about this part, you can skip ahead another uh, 30 seconds or a minute and you won't have to worry about this step. We can get straight to how to fix it. If you wanna check in and see how hot your CPU is getting to see if there's a real issue, follow these instructions. First, you're gonna open up your web browser and you're gonna search for uh, OCCT. The second item on the list, or perhaps the first, is gonna be a TechSpot download. Go ahead and download that program here. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open up OCCT and you're gonna see a main screen here that says test. Go ahead and hit the play button and it's gonna start the basic suite of tests. You can see that the processor, which is up here in this graph, is now loaded to 100%. It's running a program in the background that's loading your CPU up. And if you flip to the monitor tab, you can start to see these temperatures changing for your CPU right here. You can see that the minimum was 40 degrees. That's what it was sitting at before we started anything. Now it's sitting at 59, going up to 60 degrees. The longer you run this test, the more accurate uh, the temperature will be. I suspect that if I continue to run this test for a while, I could get up into 70s, maybe even the 80 degree um, Celsius mark. If you are quickly getting up to 90 degrees or if you get up to 90 degrees or past it at any point, you have a serious issue that you're gonna need to address. So how do we fix a laptop that is getting too hot? The quickest and easiest solution that people are likely gonna recommend to you is just to buy a cooling pad. A cooling pad is basically a laptop stand that has fans built in and it will attempt to cool your laptop by blowing fresh cool air onto the laptop body um, the entire time that you're using it. The cooling pads do work and in fact I'll link to a couple of my favorite cooling pad solutions down below. You can get them for 25 bucks or less. They're very cheap. They double as a laptop stand so there's some extra functionality there. But the thing I want to point out is you 
probably don't need to spend money on your laptop to cool it down. And in fact, you might not want to spend any money at all on a cooling pad until you've tried the next few steps. So the first thing I want you to do is control your room temperature. If you're in a room that's not air conditioned and it's a hot part of the year and your room is super hot, your laptop is gonna get hot. The laptop needs cool air coming into the laptop to cool down the components and to exhaust it out. If the room is too hot, you could have problems. The second thing is to make sure that your fan is actually running. I mentioned earlier that if you're noticing your fan runs all the time or it's louder than normal, that could be a symptom of overheating. But if you hear no fan, that's a bad sign because that means your fan may not be working at all. And that means that there's no uh, cool air coming into the system and no hot air escaping. So if your fan is not running, it could be because the fan is actually bad. It could be a bearing, it could be a connection, it could be anything. But what we wanna check first is to make sure that the vents are not blocked and that the fan is not dirty. So the first thing you wanna do is locate the vents on your laptop. You should have two different areas where you see vents. One is gonna be an intake and one is gonna be an exhaust. When the laptop is running and you hear the fan, you should be able to feel air coming out of one of those vents. That's your exhaust. If you can't feel air coming out of either one and you don't hear a fan running, even after you've used your computer for a while and it feels hot, then you might have a fan that's not working at all, or maybe it just needs to be cleaned. So the next thing we're gonna look at is cleaning out a dirty fan. This is one of the most common fixes for a hot laptop because over time, especially if your laptop is a few years old, dust and dirt can accumulate in the vents where the, the fan is pulling air in. It can clog up the fan itself. It can clog up the fins, the radiator fins that are used to help cool the device and it can generally just stop your cooling solution from working at all. So if you take a look at your laptop, you may see visible dirt and dust built up on the outside. If so, the first thing you wanna do is take some compressed air and actually spray out these vents, both the intake and the uh, exhaust vents on your laptop. Go ahead and spray both of those out. That may be all you need to do. You may see that that produces an immediate impact. Maybe the fan starts working. Maybe you start feeling cooler air coming out of the laptop. If your computer's still running hot, and you, but you think there's still some dirt or dust in there, or if you still see dust inside the vents and you can't get to it, you may be forced to actually take the casing off of your laptop and go in depth a little bit more. Let's take a look at what that would look like on my Lenovo laptop here. I'm simply going to take off, uh, I'm simply gonna unscrew these screws here on the bottom of the case and then I'm gonna use a plastic, a plastic separation tool to just lightly pry up the casing around the laptop. Once I've pulled that open, you can see that I have an exposed fan Mine's relatively clean because this is a relatively new laptop, but it's a good practice to actually spray these out with uh, some sort of a compressed air. If you have some sort of a, uh, a tool that blows air in your shop or something like that, you can use this tool as well. Anything that's gonna get the dust out of the fan, take a quick visual inspection, see if there's any dirt, dust caked up on uh, the metal radiators or cooling fins. Um, and if you pull out large chunks of dust, that's likely your culprit. If everything looked clean and you know um, there wasn't a whole lot of dust built up and you did hear the fan was running, then the fan may not be the problem. The next thing I wanna talk about is what you can do within uh, Windows to tackle the problem of a laptop that is overheating. The first thing you can do is update Windows, okay? Update Windows, go into Windows Update in your search bar. Make sure that everything is completely up to date. If you have any updates that are pending that have not yet been installed, go ahead and install those and restart your computer and follow the steps. Windows updates can sometimes fix issues with hardware or software compatibility that causes um, your computer to work harder than it needs to, which can lead to excess heat. Along those same lines, you may have a, an application that you've installed running in the background that is eating up all of your processor cycles, so you can hit on the laptop keyboard, Alt, Control, Delete, and this will pull up a screen here. You'll hit Task Manager. In the Task Manager, if you don't see this, you may have it set to fewer details, so you'll need to go ahead and hit More Details, and you'll see all of the apps and background processes that are open on your laptop. 
you want to check to see under the CPU column if there's any program that's running 100% load or high load on your CPU. And if you do have one, you want to go ahead and right click on that and end the task. In most cases, this will be maybe a game, maybe it is a, um, a game installer, um, such as Epic Launcher or a game launcher, maybe it's Steam, maybe it's just a program that you have installed um, that you didn't realize was still running in the background and it's hogging up all of your system's resources. Now, if you check with that and you don't see anything that's hogging your system resources, you need to perform a quality virus scan, malware scan. Um, there are many viruses out there and malware out there that can actually hijack your computer and get it to do something for it. There's Bitcoin miners, crypto miners that can install themselves on your computer and they run in the background using up your system resources and you will have no idea unless you run a screen for these and check. My personal favorite is Malwarebytes. I'll leave a link to the description below so you can check that out. I've used it on and off for years to make sure that my computer is staying safe and I've never had any issues with it and it always does a great job for me. If you found value in this video and it helps solve your problem and you haven't already liked the video, please consider doing so. It would help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm to get this video in front of other people who have the same problem as you. Also consider subscribing to the channel to get more videos like this, solving common computer and laptop issues that you might be running into. If you have a problem that I haven't talked about before, feel free to leave a comment below and I will be sure to respond to you and maybe even make a video about your problem. Thanks.